So cohort two of EV201 looked at prior uh, checkpoint inhibitor failure uh, patients who are also cis ineligible um, in terms of cohort of metastatic uh, urothelial cancer patients. So recall that the EV201 cohort one uh, included patients who have failed prior chemotherapy and checkpoint inhibitors, but this time uh, the cohort two is a specific uh, group of patients who are cis ineligible, so never got got chemotherapy. Now, the primary endpoint of this trial was overall responses, and there were other secondary endpoints, including overall survival, this, the duration of response. So it enrolled about 89 patients. 43% um, of those patients actually had upper tract disease. Um, and two thirds of them were considered to have decrease in their kidney function in the clearance. And that actually what made them cis ineligible. Now, the confirmed overall responses was pretty good. It was about 52%. Um, and we will see that uh, remarkable CR rates of 20%. And only about 9% of patients had true progressive disease. Um, now, the patients who were having a measurable uh, tumor response, a majority of them had some form of shrinkage of their tumors, and the median time to response was very quick, about 1.8 months, and the median duration of response was in the order of 10.9 months. And if we look at the PFS as well as overall survival, it was also pretty good. Median PFS was about 5.8 months, with an overall survival of 14. 15.7 months. Now, there were uh, treatment discontinuation rates, about 16% um, in the patients, uh, and majority of them was because of peripheral neuropathy. And so these are the reasons why we would be somewhat careful about the use of these agents, but these are something that we can certainly manage. So neuropathy, rash, as well as hyperglycemia. And therefore, there are uh, other clinical trials that are currently ongoing and accruing. For instance, EV302 is the first line uh, treatment with uh, pembrolizumab and EV and fortumab, comparing it to chemotherapy. So those results would be eagerly awaited to really further define the landscape of treatment with the use of infortumab.